Good Day, the state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, Armenian Circle of Mandeliola Napoli organizes an Armenian country festival. Sons of Western Armenia, Ararat Melkumian, on the issue of the Armenians of Western Armenia, talk of disbanding the Artsakh Defense Army is unrealistic. Minister of Foreign Affairs of Artsakh, the Artsakh Ombudsman has called on array officials to stop making statements contrary to Stepanagert's interests. Artsakh tightens food restrictions due to lack of food. U7TEA, Serioja Barsahyan wins gold medal in two times. The Armenian Circle of Mandeliula Napul is organizing an Armenian country festival on Monday, August 14, 2023, starting at 11.30 a.m. at Park Robinson Mandeliula Napul Avenue de la Mer. Ceremony in front of the Khachkar welcome speech, meal, Armenian specialties, Armenian music, song and dance. Ararat Melkumian was born on February 1, 1973, in the village of Karmishuka in the Martunia region. His family consisted of six children. After graduating from school, he joined the part-time department of the Moscow Law Institute. In 1991, he enlisted in the Soviet Army. A year later, he returned to the town of Martuni and joined the Karmishuka self-defense team. His commanders were Monte Melkonian and Movses Hakopian. In 1994, he was awarded the Order of Artsakh Combat Cross Second degree. Later, he continued his studies at the Moscow Armed Forces Academy and subsequently got a job in one of the main units of the Artsakh Defense Army. He served as the commander of Artsakh Military Unit N. In 2016, he participated in the four-day war with the squad and was awarded the Armenian Combat Cross first degree. In February 2018, he was appointed as the commander of the first military unit of the array Minister of Defense. Since July 2019, he has been the head of the Martuni Region Administration. From 2021 to 2023, he held the position of first deputy director of the National Security Service of the Republic of Armenia. From January 7 to 16, 2023, he served as secretary of the Security Council of the Republic of Armenia. On January 16, 2023, he was appointed as the director of the National Security Service of the Republic of Armenia by the decree of the President of the Republic of Armenia. Arat Melkumia was awarded the highest title of Hero of Artsakh by the President of the Republic of Artsakh. For his outstanding services to the Republic of Artsakh during the 44 day war of 2020, he holds the military rank of Major General. Urartian wild wet until recently was considered endemic to Armenia. The only known locations within these countries are near the villages of Geradir, Vogdaber, Dervej, and the Kotaik region. However, recent reports indicate that Urartu wet also grows in other countries, including Iran, Western Armenia, Lebanon, and Syria. This type of wet has gained significant interest as it is considered an important element in the formation of the solid group, the hexaploid group, or the breadfruit tree. There are six types of diversity associated with it. As new information emerges, additional characteristics of Urartu wet are being revealed, leading to the growing interest in its study. Consequently, the preservation of Urartu wet has become of paramount importance. The notion of disbanding the Artsakh Defense Army is unrealistic, as emphasized by Artsakh Foreign Minister Sergei Ghazaryan during the Yerevan Stepanagert auction. Anyone familiar with the conflict knows that the Defense Army serves as a guarantor of the security of the people of Artsakh. We have witnessed this on multiple occasions. Given the aggressive rhetoric and provocation, such as demands are not realistic, the Azerbaijani side continues to discuss this topic, as evidenced by the recent statements made by their president. The Defense Army plays a vital role role in ensuring the security of the people of Artsakh. Hazarian stressed, the government of Western Armenia has already addressed the recent discussions on an independent Artsakh and the opinions expressed by various officials. We would like to reiterate that independent Western Armenia was established by Boghosnubar in 1919 and recognized by more than 20 states. In 1920, Artsakh was a region of the state of Armenia which autonomous bodies. The Artsakh Defense Army is one of the structures responsible for safeguarding the security and territorial integrity of its native population. We consider any proposal regarding the dissolution of the Artsakh Defense Army as interference in the internal affairs of an independent state and a threat to the security of its indigenous people and territories. The government of Western Armenia has already filled a case against Baku with the European Court of Human Rights, encompassing all these issues. We demand that they refrain from any encroachment on the Armenian state. 
It is advisable for representatives of the Armenian authorities to refrain from making statements that interfere with our collective cause and the interest of Artsakh and that call into question the right to self-determination. Artsakh Ombudsman Geram Stepanyan expressed this sentiment during a TV link between Yerevan and Stepanagert in response to questions regarding statements made by some government officials and deputies of the Republic of Armenia regarding the recognition of Artsakh as a part of Azerbaijan. According to the Ombudsman, the statements are subsequently quoted by international partners. In our case, the right to self-determination is as essential as the right to life. It is crucial for the public and officials of the Republic of Armenia to fully understand what is happening and the seriousness of the threat, as there seems to be a lack of comprehensive understanding. I find the reaction and composure of the Republic of Armenia and even the diaspora incomprehensible. Stepanian stated he urged refraining from making statements that contradict the interest of Artsakh, and if unable to help at least to avoid during them, the government of Western Armenia supports the opinion expressed by Artsakh, which has never been under Baku's domination and never will be. Artsakh is a province of the independent and free Armenian state, similar to Eastern Armenia, Javakh, and Nakhajevan. Our strength lies in our integrity and unity, as we are the indigenous people of our territory. The establishment of geopolitical balance necessitates a clear definition of the Armenian state's definitive borders. We call on everyone to cease making statements that contradict the interest of Artsakh as they directly impact our shared interests. The authorities in Artsakh have once again imposed a ban on restaurants holding large dinners and gathering following funerals, while food shortages are worsening due to Baku's recent tightening of the Berdo roadblock. There is no more sugar, soap and washing powder in the stores, and the price of sweets has increased fivefold, said Silva Khachatryan, a resident of Stepanagert, in an interview with the Armenian service of RFVRL. Prices of sunflower oil and medicines have doubled since June 15. Since June 15, the Baku authorities have not authorized the delivery of aid to Artsakh following a shooting incident at an Azerbaijani checkpoint near a bridge over the Hakari River, which serves as the starting point of the Berzo Road. Russia and the European Union have called on Baku to leave the blockade, which the Armenian side considers a clear violation of the agreement reached under Russian auspices to end the war between Armenia and Azerbaijan in 2020. On June 23, the EU declared that the blockade directly threatens the livelihood of the local population and raises serious concerns about a possible humanitarian crisis. Armenian representative Serioja Barsagyan won the gold medal in the 67kg category of the Under-17 European Weightlifting Championship held in Chisinau, the capital of Moldova, with a total result of 278kg. He also secured first place in both the snatch and clean and jerk exercises. In the Under-17 European Weightlifting Championship, Armenia achieved its third medal in the double category. Jora Grigorian won gold, while Karlen Davtian won bronze. Thank you for your time and attention. Now the musical part of the Armenian folk song. 